Hi, so in this video, I'm just going to cover um, how, how we can use color, both fill, stroke, as well as opacity and gradient to add contrast and add detail to our shapes more than just a simple box, if you know what I mean. So we might have a color palette pop up or you might have these options over here. There's a whole bunch of ways in which you can bring up different colors. I like going down here out of habit because you have the most options and you can really play with it. Um, these hex codes are actually the unique code for the colors that you've picked and it's pretty cool watching it flick through as you go and change all your colors. And if you really like a color, just record that hex code and you can go back to using it. And every device that uses and displays color on the web will use these hex codes. Um, so what you could even do, it's not quite loading for me at the moment, but go to Adobe color.adobe.com and you can play around with some cool combinations where it gives you the hex codes of these shapes and you go you know what I really like that one here so let's go back and let's put that in paste and that gives me that shade of color that matches that if you know what I mean so um, the four things we have are fill which is the parts in the middle Stroke, which is the outline. Opacity is how see-through an object is. So we might use opacity things on things like clouds, on, on anything that might be see-through. You might draw a blue window and then drop it down really faint. And so behind it, you've got, you've got a person standing behind it. Bring that to the front. And there's your person being viewed through a window. Um, and you can just bump it up until you like the shape that's there. So using opacity is a really cool way of just showing that transparency. And the last one is um, gradients. So if we double, if we select an object, double click on the gradient tool, it brings up all these cool options. So start by clicking down here and what it does, it's gonna to default to black and white, but what you need to do is double click on these colors and go and pick a color, which will then give you this whole slider option. And we need to do that for both sides. Again, pick a color, and then it gives you these other options. And what it's doing is it's transitioning from left to right, from start to finish. And you can click with the gradient tool selected to change the angle of that gradient. Your gradient, which each one of these, you can actually have it dropping off to opacity. And I would entirely recommend if you're using a gradient to just have no fill. And so we can play with gradients in terms of having as many colors as you want. You can just click in the middle and add funky colors. You will have to go and redo. So reapply that gradient to that shape. Let's select the shape. Sorry, that's on the stroke. Let's do that again to the outline. Plus one, there's plus some in the middle. Double click, give it a color. And there we go. You'll find the same issue everyone does. Um, let's bump it back up to 100. And you can move them around. You can change the angle. Um, you can start off and go through so you can have a lot of fun with gradients and you might use gradients for like a, a in the sky for a sunset or maybe it's a shadow or a reflection on glass um, so each one of these colors you can just you can customize its opacity as well as its um, color if you want to get rid of color you can just go trash can or just drag it off and disappears and you can play around with these sliding scales as you see fit so some other ways we can play is here we have a linear gradient, radial, which is, as you can see, a circle going in from inside out. And they've even added a new one, this cool, funky freeform, which you play in these dots to kind of exclude, um, exclude it. So I, I haven't done much with this, but I would suggest you go playing around to see what you can do with that gradient tool. Okay, so gradients, opacity, fill and stroke are very powerful tools to clean up your designs.